greetings. In 1995, 189 governments from around the world signed the Beijing Platform for Action, a groundbreaking blueprint for gender equality and female empowerment. 20 years on, we have a lot to be proud of, but our work is unfinished. Around the world, gender bias continues to be a problem. The bias is also visible in the ICT field where women and girls are acutely underrepresented. Technology is increasingly being used to deliver essential social services like education and healthcare. It can only be a vehicle for political participation, social mobilization, and a vehicle for challenging stereotype. With technology poised to underpin so much of our world, 90% of future jobs will require ICT skills. So women need to be at the forefront of ICT development and development of application. Technology must be available to female students, entrepreneurs, and policymakers. And we need to make ICT careers more accessible and appealing to women and girls. Right now, fewer than 70% of computer science degrees go to female students. Women create only 9% of the apps in Europe. Globally, women only make up, at the upper end, 15% of top decision makers in the technology sector. Let's flip the stats. Let's achieve gender parity and locate more women in leadership positions and put women at the vanguard of developing an inclusive digital society. This, your generation can achieve. Girls in ICT Day is all about changing perceptions and opening girls' minds to the many varied opportunities out there. You and women, is delighted to work alongside ITU to promote Girls in ICT Day 2015. I personally encourage governments, ICT companies, and educators around the world to get together and collaborate to showcase the exciting world of ICT. Let us empower the girls to shape their future.